this is Robert Radcliffe and welcome to another amazing new listing home for sale here in Pacific Palisades Highlands. Um, technically the Palisades Hills of the Highlands. Uh, this neighborhood is phenomenal. All of these homes are custom built and this neighborhood is phenomenal. Besides the location of this house, as you can see over here, John, panning out, you're on a quiet, great cul-de-sac street, this direction, and up this direction, you've got the recreation center that is great for if you have kids, because they have all kinds of activities for kids up there. Um, I think it's every Friday night, movie night and pizza night. There's pools, there's tennis courts, rec room. It's really just such a great neighborhood and that's walking distance from the location here. So in regards to this particular house, uh, clearly it's an architectural that was built in the 80s. So you've got a three car garage, follow me in. We're a little bit over 5,700 square feet in this house. And one of the many beauties is this. This dramatic entry. At least I think it's a dramatic entry. High ceilings, big volume of space throughout this entire house. Clearly you see the homeowner has tons of artwork and that was one of the reasons he and his wife had purchased this home was because of all the wall space. Follow me in here. Once again, my opinion, very dramatic room, high ceilings, great use of window space for natural light, fireplace, and what's super cute is over here, you have this little, you know, sitting courtyard walled off for privacy. Maybe a great spot for a fountain, future fountain. Follow me. We have a really good size dining room. Once again, throughout the whole house, not to be so repetitive, but you've got the high ceilings. Once again, great use of windows. And then coming here, this dramatic great room. Pretty, pretty, pretty phenomenal. Once again, John, if you can get the ceiling height. Panning back over the staircase, look at the great use of the window space of above. All right, and then follow me out here. Really good size yard space. For those that love the trees, which I do, great use of shade. Um, I can imagine someone else might choose to get rid of the trees to take advantage of this view of the Palisades Highlands. Because at night, you're gonna have really pretty view of like twinkling lights from the other homes. Um, and then I can attest to, because I used to live right over here, the sunsets that you're gonna get on almost every evening it's like, like a painting, no joke. So beautiful, the sunset's gonna come right over that ridge and I've seen the sky and this mountain ridge illuminate, like jaw-dropping, picture-perfect sunsets. So clearly also the house, excuse me, the property does not have a pool, but that has been researched that you can put a pool in You've got a lot size that drops down all the way to that fence line. This neighbor over here to the left has extended a deck. A neighbor over here to the right has also extended with some pool area. So you can, I'll give you a little bit of, you can stay there, John. But just as you can see, lots of lot size here. In fact, it's one, two doors over, they've extended left here. Over here, they've extended out. You can easily extend, put in like an infinity pool, a deck, or not, not, it's not needed, it's just 
could add value to the property. And then once again, you've got a very good sized yard space out here. The trees kind of might break up the visual of how big this yard is. Once again, I'm a big tree lover. I'm a tree hugger. But maybe these trees are preventing some of the visibility of how big the yard is and potentially your view. I'll point out here, up above, that's off the master suite. Great balcony area. And follow me back in. And as you can see, it lends itself to a really nice kind of indoor outdoor flow with these sliding doors open. Big, big great room once again. Following in here to another big great room. Obviously, like an eating area, billiard room, double sided fireplace, TV room over here. There's so much space here that. I can almost see someone maybe even dividing this up to two rooms, maybe even three rooms. It's so big. Huge wet bar. Like potentially even a thought, not that, not that it's needed. But again, if you were to wall this off, create this into some sort of different room just by itself, not needed, but just some ideas. Obviously, really good sized kitchen, big center aisle, pass through here with some countertops, bar stools for like a little breakfast area, which is super nice. From your kitchen, which is ideal, you'd be looking out of the backyard, like if you have kids playing, you've got visibility of them. Oh, let me take you back here. Tons of pantry space. We have two rooms, pardon me, there once was two rooms here. It's now been opened up to one big room. We've got our homeowner doing a cameo. <laughs> so once again, this used to be two rooms divided here. Our homeowner rod opened it up, which is really nice to have one really big room. You've got a bathroom here that services this room. And a doorway here, so you have um, separate access, direct access to this room downstairs, or closing this off with a doorway, meaning you have a private suite down here. So, which is, in my opinion, super nice. You've got direct access from the outside. Maybe you want like an older kid or whatever that, or an in-law suite has their own private space completely down here. Following me over. Got laundry room here. Really good size. Got a three car park, one, two, and three. Tons of storage space. Obviously a little workbench area. Follow me. Powder room. All right, so now we're back at that entry. Once again, great space and great use of these lights. Look at the skylights up above, bringing in flooding natural light. Take you to the master suite. Stepping on in, huge master bathroom. And in my opinion, whoop. Really, really good size master suite closet.
really good sized master suite. Once again, that private balcony that I had pointed out. And what I think is a really nice feature, neat feature is, you got this overlook of your downstairs from your master. Fireplace master suite. And then follow me. Obviously like extra closet space for linens. So you have three really good sized bedrooms here. Pass through here. And look at the, once again, the ceiling height. Got a view of a really nice house. Oh, by the way, that I just sold. All right. So we just saw these, we just saw these two rooms. This one that you're leading out, the one that we entered, we passed through the bathroom. Then we've got this room. Once again, really good size. Got enough for two twins in here or just a really big secondary suite. And bathroom that services that bedroom. So once again, room count. You've got four up here, those three secondary bedrooms got the master suite, obviously this center uh, landing at the top, and then downstairs as far as bedrooms you have one big office space that we saw our homeowner Rod in, but that could be two bedrooms because it was originally two bedrooms. So we've got four up, currently one down, potentially two down if needed, um, over 5,700 square feet in the Palisades Highlands. This house, in my opinion, is phenomenal. And um, if you have any interest in seeing it privately, either set up an appointment with your agent or call me direct, 310-317-9900. Have a great day. Thanks for viewing.